Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another Matt Life Inc. video. This is a video of what I'm doing today and what it's like to work at a laundromat. So today, I am a ream tankless water heater technician. So we had a problem with our tankless water heater, and this is just a, uh, a disclosure. Um, do not do this if, unless you're a trained professional. I am a trained professional. So I am safe and I know what I'm doing. Do not do this unless you know what you are doing. If you damage your unit, I guess that's your fault. Anyways, we had a problem with our heater today. Um, our control panel was showing a temperature. The light was lit up green, but we were not getting a flame. Um, this might help you out. This is not gonna apply to every tankless water heater, but this is just something that we did that fixed our problem. Um, you are gonna wanna first check your intake and exhaust uh, ports up here. Make sure they're clear of obstructions. Ours had a few leaves in the end on the intake. Um, so we got the leaves cleaned out. That still didn't work for us. And I called Ream and they advised that I check the neutralizer right here. This is a neutralizer. This is um, condensation comes in here and then it drips out down here and it goes into the drain. Um, that still didn't work for us. Our neutralizer was uh, clean and free of obstructions. So the next thing which worked for us was to go down here. This is the cold water intake. There is a little filter right here. And you're gonna wanna make sure before you take this filter off that you do turn your water valves off. Otherwise, if you take this out with the water on, you're gonna get a face full of water. Now there will be some water in here regardless because your unit does hold a little bit of water so have a bucket and a towel ready. But we, or I, just uh, I unscrewed this. There's a screen on the end of it down inside here that was real dirty. I took this, this piece out, I hosed it off, cleared it from the obstruction, put it back in, turned your water valves back on, power on your unit, and my unit fired up, thank goodness. But like I said, this is what we did. Um, I did call Ream, their, uh, their hotline. The number is 1-800-432-8373. They're very, very good people there. I love to call them. I uh, usually call them under bad circumstances, but they're very helpful and end up uh, usually helping me fix my problem. So um, they're very helpful. And uh, like I said, this is just what we did. Luckily, it was just a just a clogged filter down there I clean that out and then uh, the unit wasn't firing because it didn't have flow the correct flow going to the system to make it want to fire so hopefully this helps somebody out but this is just another day of working at a laundromat hopefully this helps somebody like comment subscribe definitely like this video um, and consider subscribing so I'm trying to get some more uh, interesting content on here for you guys so see you on the next one